Interlochen Center for the Arts is a tax-exempt, 501 non-profit corporation, 1,200-acre arts education institution in Interlochen, Michigan, roughly 15 miles southwest of Traverse City. Interlochen draws young people from around the world to study music, theater, dance, visual art, creative writing, motion picture arts, and comparative arts. Interlochen Center for the Arts is the umbrella organization for Interlochen Arts Camp, Interlochen Arts Academy Boarding High School, Interlochen Public Radio, Interlochen College of Creative Arts, and the Interlochen Presents Performing Arts Series. Interlochen Center for the Arts was founded in 1928 and is located in Northwest Michigan. Organization Interlochen Center for the Arts comprises the following programs. Interlochen Arts Camp Young artists from around the world gather at Interlochen each summer to learn, create and perform alongside leading artists and instructors. Programs are offered to students in grades 3 through 12. Interlochen Arts Academy A Fine Arts Boarding High School offering the highest quality artistic training combined with comprehensive college preparatory academics. Interlochen College of Creative Arts Adult artists thrive on opportunities to learn and express themselves creatively. The College of Creative Arts offers programs in a variety of arts disciplines. Interlochen Public Radio through two listener-supported broadcast services, IPR Connect Northwest Michigan with arts, news and culture on a global scale. IPR also gives significant focus to local and regional news, information and artists. Interlochen presents Interlochen brings dozens of world-renowned artists to Northwest Michigan, enhancing the region's position on the global arts map. Interlochen presents more than 600 events each year by students, faculty and guest artists, making Interlochen one of the nation's largest arts presenters. Interlochen Arts Academy The Interlochen Arts Academy was founded in 1962 by Joseph E. Maddy as an independent boarding school dedicated to the arts. As of 2007, update, it had 300 faculty and staff and roughly 475 students. While more than half the students major in music performance, IAA offers majors in comparative arts, creative writing, dance, theater, motion picture arts, and visual arts. Newer majors include Motion Picture Arts beginning in 2005, Comparative Arts in 2011, and Songwriting in 2012. The vast majority of students at Interlochen Arts Academy are boarding students, including many international students. Some day students who live in the vicinity attend. Interlochen Arts Academy has been noted for its academic rigor, as IAA expects students to excel in the classroom as well as artistically. Upon graduation, most IAA graduates continue to universities or conservatories for further study in the arts or academics. Conservatories that often admit Interlochen students include Juilliard, Eastman, Cleveland Institute of Music. School of the Art Institute of Chicago, Curtis, New England Conservatory, Oberlin, Manhattan School of Music, Boston Conservatory, Peabody, and Calitz. Interlochen Arts Academy graduates also matriculate at many other colleges and universities, including Ivy League and other high-ranking institutions that do not have a primary focus on the arts. History from the State of Michigan historical marker on Interlochen's Ostilin Mal. Ottawa Indians once lived in the pine forest between Lakes Wabekanus and Wabekaneta. In the late 1800s white men came and cut the pines, leaving only a small forest between the lakes. This virgin pine was purchased in 1917 by the state and became part of one of the first state parks. When the lumber era ended, the Wiley Cooperage Mill occupied the Indian village site, making barrels until the hardwood ran out. 
Willis Pennington's Summer Hotel, opened in 1909, was popular with fishermen until automobiles and better roads drew them elsewhere. Then in 1918, Camp Interlochen, one of Michigan's first girls' recreation camps, was opened, followed in 1922 by Camp Penlock for boys. In 1928, by arrangement with Willis Pennington, Joseph E. Maddy and Thaddeus P. Giddings established the National High School Orchestra Camp. It grew rapidly in scope, size, and reputation, becoming the National Music Camp in 1931, and affiliating with the University of Michigan in 1942. Interlochen Arts Academy was chartered in 1960 to provide year-round training in the creative arts. From the book Interlochen, the first 25 years, in 1926, Joe Maddy was asked to organize and conduct the first National High School Orchestra for the Music Supervisors National Conference in Detroit. Its resounding success led to an invitation to duplicate the experience at the Dallas, Texas Convention of the National Education Association's Department of Superintendents in 1927. The exuberant young musicians pled for the chance to work and play together longer than the few days the convention appearance afforded. Joe Maddy promised him a music camp. In June, 1928, at Interlochen, Michigan, in the midst of a magnificent stand of virgin pine trees between two lovely lakes, the National High School Orchestra Camp opened its doors. On lease land, with the old Hotel Pennington, several cottages, 29 new camper cabins, a hospital, water and sewer system, the new interlocking bowl, and $40,000 debt, this brave experiment was launched. Interlochen becomes the inspiration for the 1941 Paramount motion picture There's Magic in Music. In 1962, Interlochen Arts Academy is founded. In 1963, WIAA-FM, later to become Interlochen Public Radio, begins broadcasting. From 2000 to 2007, Interlochen Center for the Arts owned and operated the K-8 Interlochen Pathfinder School in Traverse City, Me. Pathfinder had approached Interlochen about a potential link-up in the late 1990s after Pathfinder encountered financial and operational difficulty. Believing that operational and creative synergies between Interlochen and Pathfinder might benefit both schools, Interlochen ran Pathfinder for seven years. In 2007, Jeff Kimpton became head of Interlochen Arts Academy. One of his first tasks was to close Pathfinder. He was charged to take this action realizing the school was worth far more close than open. The school's woodsy campus nestles against Cedar Lake with a beautiful Lake Michigan beach across the street. Valued in the millions, it would have been a huge windfall. According to a February 9, 2000 Traverse City Record Eagle article, Interlochen initially agreed to invest $250,000 in improvements and pay off $173,000 in debts. Interlochen took ownership of the property in 2000 for one dollar. Interlochen's plan was to close the school, sell the property and land, and invest the full real estate proceeds into Interlochen Arts Academy. Interlochen only reversed its decision after Pathfinder parents offered Kimpton $3 million in exchange for keeping the school open. Interlochen hugely profited, but at least Pathfinder, founded in 1972 and highly respected, was spared and continues to operate in the black. Alumni. The Interlochen Alumni Organization Board serves as the liaison between Interlochen's global alumni community and Interlochen Center for the Arts. Members are elected from the Camp and Academy alumni population and serve two year terms. There are nearly 70,000 alumni of Interlochen Arts Camp and Interlochen Arts Academy living all over the world. 
Many of them have achieved fame for their artistic abilities or because of other achievements. Some of their names are listed below. Interlochen Public Radio Interlochen Center for the Arts is home to Interlochen Public Radio, a national public radio member station with studios on the Interlochen campus and multiple broadcast locations that allow the station's signal to reach most of northern Michigan as well as parts of eastern Wisconsin. When it was founded in 1963, WIAA was envisioned as a logical extension of the long-running Music from Interlochen program that had been heard for many years on the NBC radio network, and which helped to spread word about the activities at the then-named National Music Camp and the then-fledgling Interlochen Arts Academy. The station performed so poorly in its early years that there was talk of shutting down the operation. Today, however, Interlochen Public Radio thrives and includes both a music service and a news service. Despite being one of the smallest NPR members, IPR boasts one of the highest rates of per capita contributions of any public radio station in the United States. The station's classical service is broadcast from 88.7 FM in Interlochen, 88.5 FM in Mackinac City, and 100.9 FM in East Jordan, Charlevoix. In 2000, it began offering a separate news service on 91.5 FM in Traverse City. Interlochen is currently investigating acquisition of additional licenses so that IPR can reach larger, more geographically diverse audiences. Interlochen Presents Interlochen Presents has a summer festival running from June through August and a performing arts series from September through May coinciding with the Academy school year. It features concerts, plays, art exhibits, readings, film screenings and dance productions presented by students, faculty, and staff, as well as both well-known and obscure guest artists. Interlochen Presents events are held in numerous venues around campus. The list of recent guest artists include Steely Dan, Sheryl Crow, Willie Nelson, Joshua Bell, Jason Mraz, Bonnie Raitt, Olga Kern, Sarah Bareilles, Diggs Bentley, Nora Jones, Martha Graham Dance Company, Ra Ra Riot, Bob Dylan, Duel, Carol Janch, Josh Grobin, Paula Poundstone, Nathan, Gunn, Chris Thile, and Bella Fleck. Interlochen presents and Interlochen Public Radio serve as the primary channels by which Interlochen Center for the Arts connects with the Northern Michigan region. Interlochen College of Creative Arts Interlochen College of Creative Arts was founded in 2004 and offers non-degree arts programs for adults 18 years and over. Most programs are three to seven days long and are housed in the Mallory Tosley Center for Arts Leadership Building on Interlochen's campus. The Mallory Tosley Building was completed in summer 2011. Campus Features Performance venues up to in Morley Pavilion, seasonal, outdoor venue for theater, music and dance performances. The Interlochen Bowl, capacity 5,000 on benches and lawn seating, summer only. Open air The Bowl has been recently renovated to include chairs instead of benches. Grunau Theater, capacity 200, seasonal. Kresge Auditorium, capacity 3,929, seasonal, open air covered. Corson Auditorium, capacity 958, year round. Dendronos Chapel, capacity 230, year round. Charlie's Shack, summer only. Harvey Theater, capacity 173. Phoenix Theater, the writing house. The Shed, D. Roy Center for Film Studies, Herbert H., and Barbara C. Dow Center for Visual Arts, Dance Building, Fine Arts Building, Other Major Campus Structures Cafeterias, Stone, Lock Haven, Pinecrest, Dormitories, McCorter, Mozart, Beethoven, Picasso, Hemingway, D. Roy, Thor Johnson, Instructional Buildings, Mott Rotunda, Dow Rotunda, Liberal Arts Rotunda, Froelich Piano and Percussion Building, Organ Building, D. Roy, The Writing House, Mallory Tosley, Herbert H., and Barbara C., Dow Center for Visual Arts. 
Recreation Facilities, Marge Hams Pavilion, Brayside Recreation Building, Lee Cabutee Athletic Field, Ropes Course and Climbing Wall, The Shed, Maintenance, Housekeeping, and Warehouse Complex, Stone Student Center Hotel, Admissions Office, Scholar Shop, Melody Freeze, and Box Office, Design and Production Building for Theater and Motion Picture Sets. Hastings Nature Museum, Interlock and Public Radio Broadcast and Recording Studios, Bonus Steel Library, Dance Building, Uniform Building, Stage Services and Program Office Building, Main Infirmary, Boys Camp Infirmary, Girls Camp Infirmary, Awards and Accolades, National Medal of Arts. In 2006, Interlock and Center for the Arts was named recipient of the National Medal of Arts, one of the highest honors bestowed by the President of the United States and National Endowment for the Arts on individuals or institutions that have contributed substantially to the growth and advancement of the arts. Interlock and President Jeff Kimpton received the award on behalf of Interlock and Center for the Arts from President George W. Bush in an Oval Office ceremony. Presidential Scholars in the Arts Interlock and Arts Academy is a perennial frontrunner among American high schools in its production of Presidential Scholars in the Arts, having produced more recipients of the award than any other school in the nation. Related Publications there's magic in music at the Internet Movie Database. Bowl, Dean, Interlochen, A Home for the Arts, University of Michigan Press. ISBN 9780472108824. Browning, Norma Lee, Joe Maddy of Interlochen, Contemporary Books. ISBN 0-8092-3907-8. Field Tom. Pine Nuts, Recollections of Summers at Interlochen, Tom Field Design LLC, ISBN 0-9786677-00.